Hi guys, um, this is Jamie. I'm going to be going through a few tips, um, techniques um, for editing your personal photos. Um, this won't be for professional use or anything like that. Um, I'm going to keep it quite simple to start off with. Um, start with maybe sort of three or four episodes just to see, how, see what people think. Um, go for stuff like skin enhancement, sharpening, sort of blemish removal, that sort of thing. Real sort of simple stuff, um, but effective stuff um, for stuff like uploading to YouTube, um, YouTube, sorry, uh, Facebook, etc, etc. So um, let's get started anyway, because I've recorded this video once already, um, but because I talk so much um, and I get a bit nervous when I talk because I don't really ever talk when I do my videos um, I don't really know what to say so I'll just keep talking and talking and I'll do it again so basically anyway so what I'll do is I'll get on with it um, and then just see how I get on um, so here I've just got a picture of a girl um, as you can see she's got a um, skin is a little bit sort of blemishy spotty whatever you want to call it sweaty or the rest of it um, so what I'm gonna do just maximize this um, and yeah, so I get on. I'll just sort of tell you what I'm doing as I'm going through. Um, and if you want me to go back and do any more details and stuff like that, please obviously comment, um, message me, etc., and let me know what you think. Obviously, this being my first video, um, it's not going to go perfectly, and it's probably not going to be totally sort of to everyone's liking. But obviously, I can improve and change and whatever. So, anyway, so I'm going to press F um, and then F again, and I'll have this black background to start with. Um, do this just because then I can zoom in, move the move the canvas um, to wherever I want, etc. And I'm gonna start off with Control J and copy my layer. You can also drag down here, and drag onto the new layer there. Um, as simple as that, really. Um, over here we got our tools. I'm gonna go straight here, straight in with a patch tool. Um, beautiful little tool this one. Um, and yeah, so all you do is you're basically selecting very much like the stamp tool and the um, the spot healing all the rest of it um, except for this one I, I just feel it gives it a better result and stuff and it, you've got a little bit more sort of movement of where stuff goes etc um, so here we go um, we're just going to go ahead here um, and I'm simply just any little thing I see in the skin I'm just just moving around yeah, see, I recorded this before, and I was sort of talking for quite a while, quite sad, just chatting general rubbish. Um, and actually, when I looked at the video, um, I thought, okay, it looks good, it looks good. Um, realised it was 35 minutes long, so basically, it was useless. So I deleted that. Um, I'm gonna start again, sort of trying to rush it and talk. More nonsense, really. So again, just, I mean, you can sort of see for yourself, I'm not really taking much care over it because, again, this tool tends to do a lot of it for you. Um, see that little sort of blister on a lip. Um, a little bit under there. Do, do, do. Yeah, you got the bad boy up there. Just undo that, didn't mean to do that, sorry. Just get rid of a the mole there. Um and God it's three minutes ready. God knows how anyone does one of these in ten minutes. Maybe I need one of those like sort of channels that do it for like twenty minutes. Anyway, right. So it's gonna be quite a like a little blitz one anyway. So um before, after, before, after. Zoom in then so you can see. There you go. Before and after. And you can see this is absolutely perfect. I mean, if you've taken a load of photos and you just need to clean them up, you don't want something that's super duper. You just want to clean it up. Again, I'm just going to copy that layer again. So, Control J, that is what I'm doing there. Um, and I go for the stamp tool. So, for the stamp tool, I always press. I've already got a preset here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to 100. Um, and the quick one here is if you just type 20, um, I use 20 and I'm going to sample here. Um, if you set 20, look, when I'm clicking, it's not making this harsh sort of 
harsh skin change just do it gently and it gives it a more natural flowing sort of skin texture um, is what you what you want you don't want people to say oh you've edited that etc um, oh yeah and I'm using the the square brackets if you want to know um, change the brush size saves you a little bit of time so yeah you don't want people to sort of say oh he's edited his photos she's edited her photos etc um, you want it to look as natural as possible uh, there we go that would, that will do um, so there we go just got rid of that it took what 30 seconds or something I don't quite know what it took um, but yeah so there we go um, very simple very quick um, and again and then all I'm going to do here is literally press F to get back onto here and press F again um, and just make that grey just so I can see my top menu up here um, and I'm just going to go up here to adjustments um, and I'm just going to put a bit of contrast in there because it's a little bit white and light and it's sort of making it a little bit just add a little bit more depth into the colours there um, again really simple I didn't do anything major there um, and I'm just going to I'm going to just finish I wish I'm, oh, I'm just going to finish um, with just doing a bit of uh, smart sharpen and some people use sharpen I use smart sharpen because it gives you a lot of sort of um, input into how much you're going to sharpen so there's a little bit of and blur on the photo overall um, not loads it's not anything major um, but here I've got my presets I don't know if you can actually see I don't know how well this is going to record the blur um, but if you look on the bigger image on your left here you can sort of see it's just sharpening it a little bit it's not giving it anything harsh not that anyone's going to notice but it gives it a little bit there um, and that gives it a perfect sort of feel. What I'll do is um, I'll put up the images at the end so you can see the before and after. But that is it there anyway, the before and after. Um, and I'll actually find out how long I've actually got because I think I've got more than 10 minutes on one of my videos. And what I'll do is I'll dedicate one of my videos later on to actually going through all the shortcuts and stuff that I use. Um, because obviously I should probably should have started with that really. But um, I sort of just jumped in and sort of, yeah get right in there and just sort of put a video out there for you guys um, I hope I haven't babbled too much I know I just keep on and on about anything really just blah 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 um, but yeah um, I hope you found this um, a little bit helpful um, again if you guys um, want a photo done um, you want me to demonstrate on one of your photos um, please do email it to me um, I will put my email in the description um, or you can just private message me it um, try and keep the photos um, fairly large um, I get a lot of people that send me you uh, Facebook photos obviously Facebook compresses those if you can send me the originals most cameras these days are good enough but yeah obviously I will let you know if there's anything wrong with those um, and again I don't want some sort of tat that you just sort of do you know what I mean? Keep it keep it fairly sort of fairly large so I can actually go in. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to go in and see three pixels on my screen. Um, so yeah, uh, and if there is anything you want me to do, um, demonstrate, show you, um, give you an easy way of doing it, um, if you're a bit stuck with something, um, yeah, message me or um, put it in the description. If you like this video and helped you or the rest of it, um, you guys know what to do. Um, and yeah, so um, I hope. I hope this first video has gone well and I will be uploading more um, soon so thanks a lot for watching bye